Oh, that was close. Hold on. Is that who I think it is? Is that... Rodney Mullen. So the godfather of street skateboarding is in Skater XL now. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another Skater XL video. And to a very exciting one because we'll be trying to get some tricks today. As none other than Rodney Mullen or his character from Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. But this is, of course, only thanks to the XL Gear Modifier version 2. So big props to Mac Bate and... Wait a minute, what? What is happening, Rodney? Rodney! No! <laughs> But we will be skating Phantom Factory today and just trying to do some Rodney Mullen-ish tricks. I'll try to get all his like crook tricks today. If you've seen his part in Globe Opinion or Almost Round 3, you'll know what I'm talking about. Even Rodney vs. Day 1, 1 and 2, I think. Let's just start with a classic. So the crook Nolly Barrel heel. Oh, that was clean. Oh, the first bench here, that would actually be perfect for the trick I'm thinking of because I kind of vaguely remember a front crook, like, drop down to nose grind. It should be possible if I can grind the lower one. Oh, it is possible. Come on, Rodney, we got this. Oh, I guess it's because the grind spline is on the other side of the lower bench, so this might not actually be possible. I mean, that's one way to do it, but I didn't want to pop out of it. But I guess that was the problem, just not enough airtime from going down from the front crook to the nose grind. So far, we filmed a back crook and a front crook, and most of the ideas I have are also crooked grinds. Wait a minute, isn't there a way to do, like, primos? It has its own category, how could I not see this? Let's just say on, primo catch on. I think you can ollie and then press X to land in the primo. There we got a little ollie to primo, primo flip out. Even though I guess primo has to be a slide. But wait a minute, can I do a kick flip and then catch it in primo? Let's just see if we can do that. Oh my god! Okay, that's tricky to do. We'll need a short, like, primo slide pad in order to land that. Okay, I don't know if I can make it look good, but we should be able to get it at least. Oh, that was close. Ah, oh, that was bad. That was really bad. We'll have to redo that. You know what? That was actually pretty good. Damn! Oh my god, that was so sick! With the primo slide out the way, I think we can pretty much chill for the rest of the video. So let me get all these other backside crook variations I wanted to do. We already got the crook nolly barrel heel. But I also want to get the inward heel out. You know what? Let's add a half cap into that. That wasn't really a crook. That was more like a back nose grind. Oh man, it was pretty good though. Oh, I'm just filming it from the side, guys. We're keeping this one. It was pinched like a crook, so... Yeah. What if we get the switch backside crook fakey barrel heel out on one of these? Oh, we got that. And a little bit of Rodney booty there. That was bad. We gotta redo that. Oh, the fakey lace out. Ah, oh, that was a bad crook, a bad fake barrel heel, everything was just bad on that one. That one too! I am definitely taking that, that took so long. I mean, I landed a good bunch, but uh, it took a while to get one that was kinda clean. Little over-rotated on the shove part. Yeah, it's, it's okay.
It's been a pretty good session so far as Rodney. I mean, I'm, I'm really happy with the Primo slide we got. Had to figure that out and actually learn that. I guess we should be doing some impossibles, but my settings aren't really up for it right now, I feel like. I mean, you could make that look like an impossible, right? Yeah, kinda, but yeah, I don't, I don't really feel like it, to be honest. What if we found a small handrail and we then did a front pop crook? Run pub nose grind. I think you did that in one of the Plan B videos, or maybe Rodney versus Day One One. If that isn't the uh, same part actually as one of the Plan B parts. Oh, oh, my knee, Rodney's knee. I mean. Oh, Rodney, you made that look easy. Oh man, I wish I could like. Kick flip, under flip. I don't know if that's possible. You know, with auto catch, you kind of do the half kick and then kind of lift it back a little bit. I guess I can do an unpossible, but that's more like a mic mode trick. I don't know if I've seen Rodney do that. Let me just see if I can remember how to do it. No, I can't really do that one anymore. That's weird. I did it yesterday with my buddy Brayden. Oh, wait a minute. We, we got some spots here that are Rodney-ish. Like these tiny bumps... Yeah, that might also be from opinion. I'm probably not gonna link all the tricks that I'm talking about in the video or show them, so uh, I urge you guys to go watch some old Rodney Mullen parts. We could all need that every once in a while. And this gap is perfect for our ender, where I'll probably have to adjust my settings a little bit, but we'll just see on the first one. So I'm just gonna fling. No, I, I don't think so. I think we gotta up my flip speed. Yeah, flip speed. We are on 140. Let's just remember that. Just take it up to 219. Yeah, we can get a really good looking triple heel now, I think. Uh, It's so close. We're about to primo slide down because we're missing only like a quarter of a flip. That was basically it. Oh, come on. I had so much fun today skating as Rodney Mullen, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well and will enjoy the montage that's coming right after I'm done talking. So let me just say this. Thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. I'll just see you in the next video. So until then, have it good. Peace out.